The five levels of listening. Very few employees have been trained on how to listen. And my observation has been that most people don't listen. They're really just preparing their response. The way I see it is we've got two ears and one mouth. And my observation has been that effective people listen twice as much as they speak. I believe many problems we see in the workplace is down to a lack of effective listening. There are essentially five levels of listening. Number one, pretending. Number two, selective. Number three, defensive. Number four, attentive. And number five, empathic. Let's unpack each of these to ensure we understand what each one looks like and feels like. When someone pretends to listen, the person seems to be listening, but you can tell he or she just isn't. Technology seems to be adding to the problem. Have you ever been in a conversation with a colleague, vendor or customer and can just tell they're not listening? I'd encourage you to have the courage to ask if they want to reschedule the conversation or to take a moment as they seem so distracted. Selective listening can be very selfish listening. It's a level of listening focused on someone's personal agenda. When a leader practices selective listening, it can come across as very controlling. Defensive listening is very destructive. It's higher than selective listening because the listener is at least listening to the whole point, but they're listening with the intent to deflect, deny, or defend their position. The conversation can be very frustrating because the speaker doesn't feel like the issue has been resolved and the listener doesn't seem to want to take any personal responsibility or help get to the root of the issue. Now, attentive listening, sometimes referred to as active listening, should be our normal mode of operation as listeners. When attentively listening, we need to allow others to finish their sentences. If necessary, repeat back your understanding of the situation to the speaker. You can tell when someone is attentively listening. In person, you'll see it in their eye contact. They'll maybe lean in. You'll see them nodding their heads and maybe making notes of what you've just said. Even over the phone, you and I can sense when someone is attentively listening. A lot of people overcomplicate empathic listening. And at New Leaf Training and Development, we've coined a phrase that seems to resonate with people who we coach and train that goes like this, quote, when there's high emotion involved, you should employ empathic listening. End quote. We call it the three E's, emotion, employ, and empathic. So what really is empathic listening? Let's start with what it isn't. Empathic listening is not trying to fix, analyze, or figure out the other person. You're not playing judge and jury as to who was right and who was wrong. Empathic listening is trying to stand in the shoes of the other person. Your goal is to recognize the way the person is feeling, and in so doing, you're helping the colleague, vendor, or customer calm down keep it simple your goal is to help the person calm down without saying calm down phrases such as tell me more or i can see or hear you're very frustrated or upset about this will help get to the goal when they've calmed down my observation has been that one of two things is likely to happen they're either likely to say something like well thanks ever so much for listening to me i'm not sure whether you can help but thanks anyway and this builds the relationship a word of warning though, if this is a colleague and they're gossiping or venting about another colleague, have the courage and consideration to suggest this isn't helpful and maybe they should speak directly to the other person about their frustrations and concerns. Gossip can be like a toxic poison that can easily spread across teams and organisations. Now the second potential outcome is the person may ask your advice because you understand them and you've heard about the situation. You've listened to them. They're likely to say something like, well, based on your experience, what advice would you give me? In summary, I'm no psychologist, I'm a recovering accountant, but it's very effective to truly listen to others. Some people have said it takes too much time to listen to others. And my response is that attentively and empathically listening to people is the fastest form of human communication. Because when we pretend to listen, selectively listen or defensively listen, all sorts of misunderstanding, confusion and conflict arises and who has time and energy for that?